Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you guys. If you're a Libra and you've been supporting me or, um, well, you've been supporting me, but if you um, read my posts, I know um, I put a lot out there. So I really appreciate all the love, all the support. Um, I feel just as connected to you guys as you do to me. And um, I try to comment back to everyone. I think I usually do. Um, so I have been going through health issues, but there's moments where I don't feel bad and I enjoy coming on here and doing this. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. So if I'm coming on, it's because I feel okay to do it. And um, my situation changes like hour to hour. So right now I feel okay. And I do want to um, get your guys' June reading to you. So um, I, I'm going to go with the bottom card here because I've been wanting to stop at a card that I haven't done a lot. And I think this is just so perfect for Libra. So we have a deer, which is so cute, okay? And I haven't gotten this card yet and I just stopped at it and I thought it was perfect. So let's see what it says about the deer. In stillness, I find my way. Stillness. So cute. I think deers are so beautiful, like their eyes and anyways. Okay. Deer are still quiet and aware. They don't make loud noises or large movements to call attention to themselves. They are not show offs. They seek privacy and they are peaceful within the herd. They simply and quietly go about their lives. When we give ourselves a moment of contemplation, we are able to connect with our inner selves and the universe around us. By being still, we receive the clarity we need towards a more deliberate action. Deer asks you to balance your busy life through the simple action of being still. Practice quieting the mind to stop, at least briefly, the chatter in your brain. With conscious awareness, knowing the right time to move and when to stay becomes intuitive. In stillness, you find direction. In stillness, you find light. Be still, my dear. How cute. Okay, I don't know why. I'm just like so, it's like I want to... Um, this is really good because I feel like sometimes Libras can be indecisive. You guys are air ruled, so you're in your mind a lot. And I feel like that stillness and meditation and like if you're trying to deliberate or decide between something, being that in-between space where you're not in your head so much, where you're doing some meditation, where you're releasing that need to figure things out will help you. Um, and maybe you've just been go, 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 and you just need to have this time, maybe out in nature, listen to the sounds of nature. I'm hearing birds chirp right now, um, will help you like a deer. Okay. Just be in the moment. I feel like stop projecting forward, stop looking behind and allow yourself to just be still. All right. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull from this briar and blossom Oracle. I'm going to get, I'm going to pull from here and then work your light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and get some messages. Find joy in the everyday things, okay? So maybe you need to cultivate more joy. Maybe you need to do more things that you enjoy instead of thinking about things so much, okay? Huh. Look what's on the bottom here. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. That's the same as the stillness. Take a break. Whatever you're doing and go, go, go. Take some space. Take some time to just be still, all right? play. Have fun, celebrate, and don't be serious. We have two things about having fun and two things about being still. These are the remedies to your issues or whatever you're going through right now. Find joy and play, okay? Whatever it is. Maybe it's childlike things that you don't do anymore. Maybe it's going and riding a bike that you haven't done. Rollerblading. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Um, you know, laughing, watching something that makes you laugh, just lightening up and then also just taking a break from these things that are stressing you out, okay? That's a very conclusive message here. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna get into your romantic dynamic. Wow. All right, you know what? Um, let's see. I didn't really want to show my pants on film, but you guys had to see them because I had to get this card. All right. So we're going to use masculine madness for this relationship dynamic on their side. We're going to use um, flames of truth from angelic revelation 144. There's like tiny little cards, with really solid messages. 
then we're going to use my um, love messages from for old souls and separation from him to her now I did write that from him to her but it is just could be masculine so if you're the masculine energy or if you're not even dealing with the masculine it's just from the masculine energy what is with all my cards falling guy but I feel like when they fall they're like significant so I'm not really dressed to impress here on the bottom but it is what it is um I'm gonna use mystic moon oracle I'm going to obviously use tarot. I'm going to use mermaid tarot. And then I'm going to use the real deal as well from Angelic Revelation 144 on your side. I just realized that I didn't use tarot on the masculine. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Almost done, Libras. You guys are patient. I know. Some of these cards are like super slippery, so it's like hard grasping them. This is my last little thing that I'm doing, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first pile is gonna be the mental space, emotional, and um, soul space, all right? So where is the feminine at, you at um, in your mental space? This person is loyal to you, victim, and high priestess. I'm getting a very Piscean energy. You guys um, might have some Pisces in your chart. You are very spiritually connected. You feel like you've been victimized by something. You're getting this intuition that this person did something to you or something or I don't know. Um, but it says this person is loyal to you. So Follow your intuition, but don't get caught up in a victim mentality. It also might be that you're loyal to them and then you feel like they did something messed up. But follow your intuition on this. You're having a lot of spiritual downloads. You're also being very quiet about something. But um, yeah, all right. So where are they at? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could feel like you cut them off or you energetically severed this tie. I look at your picture more than I would even like to admit to myself. So they are looking at you. They are watching you from a distance, okay? Thank you for showing me what true love is, unconditional. So they do know that you're unconditional. They know that you're loyal to them. So I feel like that's you guys, okay? And then they're saying, my family are not understanding of our connection. I know that I have to stand up for you and our special connection. So you might feel victimized in that sense where you feel like they're not um, coming through for you. You feel like they're being influenced by their family. This doesn't necessarily have to be their, like, family like their their spouse and their kids it could be their soul family their friends the people that they are associated with that they're surrounded by so i feel like their like desire for you is a little bit um undercover and they also know that you feel that way i feel like you guys have expressed that you could also be dealing with another air sign that has a feminine energy you are their priority this is in your um in your uh, emotional space to a sword you guys are conflicted though i feel like you guys are wondering am i their priority like do they priority to prioritize this relationship and this dynamic but a lot of this is coming from your own inner child wound so you're deflect you're projecting your own insecurities about maybe not being chosen not being um, protected not being a priority in your family of origin so realize where it's coming from your inner child okay where are they at in their emotional space the devil, they have some things that they're bound to. It could be codependent on their family's opinion, okay? So they're definitely caught up in something that's unhealthy, that's like lower vibrational here, okay? I think of you when I am having sex with her, <laughs> okay? So they have someone else, but they're conflicted. They have these like sexual issues where they may have like a codependency issue, but then they're desiring you, all right? I just want to be able to spend time with you and get to know you intimately. They feel frustrated though, but they feel tied up from someone else, okay? And then we've got, I can't let go, grasping. So I do feel like the two of swords is you guys sensing that they're back and forth, like they have this other person, but they can't let you go. And you're just like, make up your mind, like am I a priority or not here? You're loyal to them, but you don't feel like they're loyal to you. They are easily influenced by their family. 
This is what you feel in your soul. So it could be another spouse. It just could be other people around them. You feel like they're not strong enough. They're not sticking by you. The hermit, Virgo energy, you guys are in this very soul-seeking, contemplative space. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to find the answers, all right? You're um, very solo right now. I feel like you're kind of like isolating in a way because you're not sharing with other people what you're going through. You're going through this very specific journey, and I feel like you feel if you told people, they judge you and say, oh, they don't want you, but they might not understand your connection. And you guys do want a fresh start, whether it's with this person or someone else. You do want a new beginning, all right? So where are they at in their soul space? Five of Pentacles. They might feel like they abandoned what they really wanted, all right? They feel some abandonment issues too. They feel left out in the cold. I feel like they feel like their needs though are being tended to, even if they have someone else. So I feel like they're with someone else, but they're not happy. I projected my insecurities on you when I was unaware. I just told you, you guys are projecting your insecurities, but they did it too. So you guys are mirroring each other. All right, so they are projecting, maybe they have a fear of abandonment and they're creating it by projecting it on you. Very interesting. I just want to escape mind altered. I feel like they're very frustrated. They don't know how to break free from this current dynamic they're in. They're not strong enough to walk away from people's opinions. And I have always wanted to marry you. I am working on making that happen. You're the one they want, but they are not strong enough. So you have to find your own strength. You have to get out of the victim mentality. You have to trust your intuition and know that they're going to come forward at some point. But you have to give them space to get that strength on their own, all right? But don't play the victim. Don't project your insecurities on them either because I feel like that's a lot of what's going on between both of you guys. Just focus on yourself with the hermit. Focus on your own stuff and what you're projecting onto them. And have fun and be still, okay? That's your message, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Thank you for support. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.